Hello, everyone. I'm Chuan Yuwei from Tencent Security Back Big Data Lab. Uh, today, I'm going to give a presentation of our new work, GSL for REC, session-based recommendation with collective graph structure learning and next interaction prediction. This is a joint work from Tencent Security Big Data Lab and Wild Canal Medicine. First, I will introduce the background and motivation. In order to respond to user needs in the most timely manner, session-based recommendations are proposed, which focus on user behaviors within a session and predict users' current preference. Recently, recently to incorporate more helpful information, researchers have proposed session-based social recommendation since users are likely to be influenced by their friends. For example, Funny videos can spread along with the social networks and introducing friends viewing behaviors can effectively make timely recommendations when target user shows relevant uh, short-term interests. Graph neural networks uh, have, success, have, have successfully modeled users' relationships for recommendation. However, Existing GNN-based methods often presume a predefined social network and use this static graph to learn the information flow pattern among users. Hypothesizing a given and static social network brings two limitations. First, constructing social networks in real-world application is expensive and it is implausible to apply existing methods without such a given graph. Second, social relationships are mainly static and not necessarily consistent with users' shared interests. To this end, we argue, to, we argue that learning the graph structure and predicting the next interaction collectively may further benefit the recommendation performance. To achieve this goal, we need to address two notable challenges. First, the scalability issues. Mining potential links among users require n square order calculations, where n is the number of user nodes in the graph. Second, the effectiveness issue. With the huge number of potential links among the users, the model may easily get overfitted to the noise. Also, since learning graph structure and recommendation closely coupled with each other, the change in one part make the learning process of the other side more strenuous, especially when we initialize both parts with random states. Now, in this paper, we propose a novel graph structure learning framework for session-based recommendation to address the aforementioned challenges. To address the scalability issue, we propose a two-stage strategy to learn graph structure. The first stage is, to, is the coerced neighbor screening, which uses a learnable lightweight function to recall K1 neighbors from all the users. In this way, we enable exploring possible links from the whole graph while maintaining tractable computation. And the second stage is the stealth adaptive graph structure learning based on the first stage results and can ad adaptively select a smaller number of neighbors. This stage utilizes more information, including users' recent, recent interactions to predict which user's recent behavior has the most significant influence. And to address the effectiveness issue, we propose a phased heuristic learning strategy to stabilize the learning process. The idea is to maximize the value of existing social networks to provide a warm start. The learning strategy has three phases. In the first phase, we fix the graph structure as the given social network and train the recommendation until it reaches a good state. Then in the second stage, we gradually increase the weight of the learnable network. Since the recommendation part is already pre-chained, we can avoid the phenomenon of two randomly initialized parts disrupting each other. In the final phase, we rely entirely on the learned structure and fine-tune the whole network. 
This phased heuristic learning strategy can train different parts of our model and make the time and make the model easier to achieve good local optimum. And next, I'm uh, gonna introduce our methods in detail. Um, our GSL for REC consists of four core modules, the coerced neighbor screening, the dynamic interest modeling, uh, the stealth adaptive graph structure learning and uh, attentive interest propagation. And this four module uh, work together. Next, we will introduce this module in detail. Uh, our framework offers a coerced neighbor screening layer to discover interest, de interest dependency among a large number of user VTs. To achieve this with limited computing resources, we randomly initialize two learnable parameter matrices to represent the target and the source node embedding. By multiplying them, we can obtain the first stage similarity matrix. For each user, we select the top K vertices with the highest probability as the coerced neighbors. And then is the dynamic uh, interest modeling. We refer to the short-term interest as a user's latent preference hidden in the corresponding sessions. Following the recent advance, we use RNNs to model a user's session. In practice, we reuse the embedding matrix E source to depict a user's long-term interest since we mainly focus on the influence on others in the long-term interest modeling. After that, for the neighbors, we concatenate both the short-term and long-term interest followed by a linear transformation to obtain their representations. As for the target user, we only use the short-term interest to characterize it since we aim to predict her next stop, uh, her next step. Um, and then it's the step adaptive graph structure learning. Uh, this part performs the second stage neighbor selection in a more fine-grained way based on the user's dynamic interest. We apply a two-layer net neural network to extract such relationships between users. We then select the top K2 neighbors with the highest relevance for the target user as the second stage selection and set the other neighbor's weight as zero to form the agent adjacency uh, matrix. Not that the similarity entry will only be calculated when K is in the first stage uh, neighbors or otherwise will be set as zero. Um, after receiving the fine green neighbors and their influence weight from the graph structure learning process, we use a GCM based model to update the target user. The GSL for REC framework proposed a two stage strategy to train the coerced neighbor screening and the cell adaptive graph structure learning. We train and update these two parts. Uh, sequentially. The first stage only walks and learns between epochs. When the second stage is trained along with the recommendation part in an end-to-end -end manner during every training step, the intuition is that a user's long-term interest stays stable for a relatively long time. So we do not perform the coerced neighbor screening very often to save the computation. The second stage learning always receives the potential candidates from the first stage and selects more related neighbors from those candidates. So we expect the second stage network to be the teacher of the first stage, of which the feedback can guide the training process of the coerced screening. For the, fa uh, for the phase, uh, phase heuristic, we set a probability epsilon to control whether using the neighbors from the social network or otherwise the learned structure. With the epsilon gradually decades, the recommendation process relies more and more on the learned graph structure when the graph learning path has been well trained to a certain level. We choose the inverse sigmoid function to simulate the decade of epsilon. 
Uh, next, uh, we will introduce the uh, experiments. Uh, to comprehensively study our proposed GSL for REC, we conduct experiments on five real world data sets and we use NDCG and hit ratio as the evaluation matrix. Here shows the overall comparis comparison between different models. We have the following observations. The graph-based model methods, including our model, consistently outperform other methods. And GSL for REC performs both outperforms both DGREC and DREAM, which demonstrate that a learned graph structure has more vital express, expressiveness to capture the dynamical dependency among users. When the social information is absent, our GSL for REC consistently uh, shows consistent performance in the MIND data set. This makes sense since the timeliness of news tends to reduce the importance of the past interactions. While the graph-based methods can fetch useful information about the current chain from the neighbors. Um, and then we use uh, without CN to represent the model without the first stage coerced neighbor screening layer and without SL to represent the model without the second stage graph structure learning. And we can see removing either of them compromises the uh, expressive ability of the model. Besides the result shows that uh, without the co without CN performs better than without SL. This may be because a user's short-term interest is usually more valuable in the session-based recommendation and relied solely on the coerced screening can only capture the long-term dependency among users. And then we disable the phased heuristic learning strategy and term it as without pH. And we can observe that the framework driven by the phased heuristic performs significantly better than the one without it. We find that the loss function uh, of, of the model without the phase heuristic drops more quickly at the beginning and turn to a steady decreasing state afterward. However, with the phase heuristic, GSL for REC is more likely to converge to a better local optimum instead of getting an early stop. We vary the selected number and the convolution number to investigate their influence. And we found that um, K2 equals to 50 and L equals to two uh, are the optimal choice in our experimental scenario. Um, and to summarize, uh, we propose GSL for REC to learn graph structure from user behaviors for session-based recommendations. And the proposed framework applies to large data sets can infer weighted direct, directed graphs adaptively with or without a given social network. We propose a phased heuristic learning strategy to stabilize the learning process with which we overcome the challenges for parameter learning and achieve better performance. Experimental results show that our methods outperform the state-of-the-art methods on five benchmark data sets from different domains and demonstrate the effectiveness of the learned graph structure. Uh, thanks for your listen. And, and, uh, and if you have any question, you can ask me and or in the, uh, in the live chat. Yeah, there's a question which actually mirrors exactly the question I had, which is from Vladan, which is, uh, Thanks for the great talk. Have you tested GSL for REC in online production settings? What would be the main challenges in terms of scalability? That's question one. Oh, okay. Is your method specific to session-based recommendation or? You might want to take the question that's before that, which is, have you tested in an online production setting and what would be the main challenges in terms of scalability? Um, we haven't tested uh, in tested in uh, online production setting, but I think the main challenges in terms of the 
scalability would be um, you have to model the user's sequence of, of its interactions. And when you have to, you, you know, in, in, in real world scenario, the users will uh, can, can reach to millions and millions. So uh, if you have, you want to uh, get a, uh, get a full search on the whole user pool, it, it, uh, the, the computation will be very large. So uh, we, that's why we uh, proposed the two-stage uh, training strategy. We first uh, use the user's long-term embedding to, um, to select a small, num a small number of uh, candidates. And then we use um, more information like uh, the, the user's uh, recent, recent uh, interactions to uh, select uh, smaller uh, you, smaller number of users to and, and and at this stage we use more information and we can get a better uh, a, a more precise uh, selection. Thank you. And, this, and then the and second question is uh, on uh, session based is is whether the method is specific to session based recommendation or you can use it for other non-sequential tasks? Uh, in this work, I, I think it can, it is specific to the session-based recommendation. Uh, but I think uh, you, you, we can still uh, change this model to, to a general recommendation because you can use it, we, we can, cons can uh, construct the user's preference based on uh, his historical interaction uh, it, uh, and and is non sequential non sequential interactions can also help us to infer the user's preference, and we can use this preference to uh, construct a dynamic uh, a, a self adaptive graph, and 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 can uh, use the graph learning methods can apply to to the to the constructed graph. 